then, Vietnam. Was he the liberating hero who single-handedly ended the war and delivered his country its 51st state? Well, how about you ask Lady True? Maybe that's actually her endgame. Killing Dr. Manhattan? At least trying. Maybe she has built some crazy shit? <laughs> Gotta love Dr. Manhattan cosplay. <laughs> People who wear masks are dangerous, Angela. And we should be scared of them. Why? But what about Halloween, Dad? Just pretend, Dad. Well, it's only pretend until it's real. And when you're a little older, you'll be able to tell the difference. <laughs> What's going on here, hmm? Is that a little terrorist? That was such a vivid memory. It blew her out of her bed. Since you OD'd on my drug, Agent Blake called me up and asked if I could save your life. Don't touch. It's your treatment. Hmm. Are you sure about that? Introducing Pneumodialysis, a treatment by True Pharmaceuticals. Thank you for trusting True Pharmaceuticals with the most precious of possessions. Your mind. Goodbye, and have a pleasant return to consciousness. <laughs> she still in there? Well, wouldn't be here if she wasn't. Why don't you go in? Go home, Cal. Huh? Oh, very compassionate dude. I mean, he's just her husband, but... Hmm? For your own safety, we can't grant access to unauthorized personnel. Is she okay? Absolutely. She's resting. Is this really needed? Couldn't she have told him all that on the phone? <laughs> Remember when you told me to drive over to Detective Tillman's house because you, or, you know, Looking Glass, because you thought it was really unusual that he ratted out Detective Abar and you were worried that maybe he was working with the 7th Cavalry? <laughs> I already forgot about that. Five of them are here and they're extremely dead. Are you sure they're cavalry? Yeah, yeah, they're all wearing Rorschach masks. Well, actually, hold on. One of them isn't. Mirror guy, where is he? <laughs> well, he stole one of their masks to infiltrate them. The guy who inspired two generations of heroes, my folks and myself included, he had to hide who he was. White men in masks are heroes, but black men in masks are scary. <laughs> Thank God times have changed. Thank God. I don't trust you, woman. Angela kept saying one word over and over and over. Cyclops. Am I supposed to know what that is? Oh, give me a break. We wouldn't see this scene unless there was more to you. Pledging loyalty to their newly elected leader, President Joe. Well, that was the original idea. <laughs> Was I not supposed to confess yet? You've just been going on and on and on. <laughs> What's Shit. that? What the fuck are you doing? How about you do something? Get up! Oh. Which man looks more trustworthy? What? First instinct. Which is more trustworthy? <laughs> the guy on the right. He has candy. <laughs> People don't fly kites alone. <laughs> Such bullshit. Yep, that's him, all right. That's him. That's <laughs> him. Execution around the corner. You ain't gonna get justice with a badge, Will Reeves. You gonna get it with that hood. Detective Tillman, 
Detective Abar. Hmm. At least she picked up the movie after the explosion. <laughs> It hurt too. Very, very fancy transition. <laughs> so begins day 365 of the people versus Adrian Veidt, <coughs> alias Ozymandias, alias Master. <laughs> What's this nonsense about? He not only took the lives of fellow costumed adventurers, but those of three million innocent people. Why would they put him on trial? If this is just a fantasy world created for him. Is this maybe just happening in his head? After all? Master Veidt. <laughs> you have chosen to represent yourself. <laughs> Now that's a statement. The defense rests. <laughs> I have taken the liberty of assembling an alternative jury, much more suited to the task. <laughs> the shit. <laughs> How do you find the defendant? Guilty! <laughs> Are they his conscience? Maybe. While well, he's in a coma? Is he trapped in that bloody statue? Why'd you come here? I have a secret plan to save humanity, and it starts in Oklahoma. Can't tell if you're kidding. <laughs> sure you can. No, that was a very dry delivery. Nobody can tell. Whose nostalgia is your daughter tolerating? She told me about her dreams. Was she some sick old lady? And I'm just wondering. Lady True's mother? She's my mother. <laughs> I got you figured out, True. You and your little cloning empire. Just turning on your big fancy gizmo so that you can save humanity. You make it sound ridiculous when you say it like that. <laughs> so then tell me what it fucking does. Your clock. It's gotta have to do something with Dr. Manhattan. A trap door. <laughs> I'm sorry. Who has a fucking trap door installed in their living room? Well, they got you, so... You want me to ask you why I'm strapped to a chair in an abandoned J.C. Penny or what that cage is for? I don't give a shit. Mm -hmm. Oh, you'll give a shit about this, Laurie. Oh, this has something to do with Dr. Manhattan too, huh? And it is extremely difficult to be a white man in America right now. <laughs> I might drop me in a blue one. Oh. All right. He wants to become Dr. Queens? I know you're in there. There's probably baby wool in there. Take your pills. You showed me your life. Why? Some freaky shit like that. <laughs> What the fuck? Well, I was right with the freaky shit. <laughs> This lady yells at you like that all the time. Yeah. You can go now. One slave less, lady. <laughs> well, I wrote your daddy a letter. I had to send it to the army here because I had no address for him. Came back unopened with a big stamp on it. Leave me alone. But what else you got in there? Show her the movie. <laughs> I remember this one. You do not want to fuck with Sister Knight. <laughs> Language, Granny. I have a VCR in Tulsa. We'll watch this first thing. Where's Tulsa? 
Tulsa's in Oklahoma, honey. Where's Oklahoma? Oh, Granny! <laughs> what a timing! So now what? Granny's just dying here? Then how will it... Sister Knight make it to Oklahoma? Hmm. Lucky you, you made it to the secret lab. <laughs> Accessible via elevator. I need help. I have cancer. Cancer in the cerebro. Hmm? What the hell? Aren't those messages meant for Dr. Manhattan? Are they sent to this facility and saved instead of sent up? They beg and beg and beg for his help. But he ignores them. Every single one. It's not his responsibility. Dr. Manhattan isn't listening. He's not even on Mars. Where is he? Right here in Tulsa. Pretending to be human. What? Your grandfather came to me because he needed someone with my resources to help him stop the 7th Cavalry. In less than an hour, they're going to capture Dr. Manhattan. And they're going to destroy him. Oh, they are going to do that. Oh, alright. Well, now we finally know what's going on. I just told you, Dr. Manhattan is here in Tulsa, walking amongst us as a human being, and you never asked me who he is. Her husband! Because that guy doesn't have a sense of humor. <laughs> she wants you to move. She says she doesn't want to hurt you. Fuck her! <laughs> Tell her she's under arrest! <laughs> you crazy fucking bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! Oh, there was looking glass in the back seat. I love you. I love you too. Is she going to kill him? Because he's Dr. Manhattan? We always knew that this day would come. What day, Angela? I don't know what you're talking you about. You do know. You just don't remember. Did we talk about this before my accident? It is him. <laughs> and she even knows about it. She knew about it all along, I mean. You're not yourself. No, John. You're not yourself. My name is not John. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine she's wrong. <laughs> Oh, you couldn't have showed him. 